Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make the little Christmas tree minion that's designed by Jess Davies, also known as Craftlover17 on Instagram. And this is what it's going to look like. A little bit of jingling happening here. You're going to hear that a little bit in my video. So I do apologize for that. You could turn down the volume. But this is what it's going to look like. Now it looks really hard. I can guarantee you it's not hard. It is very repetitive so therefore making it easy. I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make the body, the goggles, and the goggle strap. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now in this part one I'm going to show you all the supplies needed. I'm only going to show you this in this video. So in the other parts if you forget you're going to have to refer back to this. I'm going to review everything. Your red, green, yellow, gray, white, black. Now you're going to need 33 stitch markers. I'm going to be leaving my stitch markers on and this is going to help us to guide where to place all the pieces for the tree. Now we're going to use 15 small beads that you're going to have to thread onto red bands. The red bands are in the count. That's optional and that part is on the top of the hat. Now inside I'm using a 20 millimeter, actually this is an 18 millimeter, 20 millimeter and 18 millimeter will fit just fine, just use a 20 millimeter. Now for the beads I'm using a 4 millimeter metallic beads, I'm going to use 70 of them, that's optional. You can use as many or as little as you would like, but you're going to thread these all onto a single rubber band, red color and that's going to go all around here. Now on the shoes I'm using a 10 millimeter green bell. Again optional, you can add a bigger bead if you'd like to that. And that's it, I'm going to get started and I do hope you enjoy. Round one of the goggle, we're going to do seven single crochets in the magic ring and I'm using white. So take your first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now bring seven bands through one at a time. So your first one, other end on your hook, your band over, bring it to the side. Go back in for your second band to bring through, on your hook, and two loops over. Make sure you're bringing it to the side. Go back in for your third band, other end on your hook, two loops over. Go back in and you just want to continue. Go back over. And the last band. You want to attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook and then you can remove off the loom and you should have seven stitches. So for round two of the goggle we're going to increase on every stitch. So you're adding two bands, two, 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 all the way around. At the end of round two you're going to have 14 stitches. So going in our first chain, you're adding two bands, one at a time. Back in, that same stitch to add your second band. Now moving on to the next stitch and you want to add two bands. Back in, And moving on to the next stitch with two bands. So you just want to continue until you get to the stitch marker. And the last 
last stitch with two bands. So again, you should have 14 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, the pattern is six single crochets followed by an increase. So it's just one, 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 two. You're gonna repeat this two times. So let's go in our first six chains with one band. Chain one with one. Chain two with one. Chain three. Chain four. Chain five. Chain six. And then chain seven. So it's kind of at the top of where your stitch marker is. Chain seven, you're adding two bands. Back in. And now you're going to repeat the same thing, six single crochets, and where your stitch marker is, you're adding the two bands. Next, I'm changing the color to gray. So you should have 16 stitches. Remove that stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're gonna do 16 single crochets and only grabbing the inside loop only. So that means I'm just going to grab the chain facing the center I'm not going through both, I'm just going to grab the first one. Now in the other Minion tutorials, when I started to change the color on the goggle, I started with a slip stitch. I'm not going to do that this, this time um, because you don't really need to. It's inside, you can see the color change right there, but it doesn't give that little bend. So I'm not going to do um, the little slip stitch, I'm just going to crochet normally. So let's go on our first chain, just grabbing the inside loop only. And I'm going to pull my first band through just the inside loop on my hook and then slide. Moving on to the next, the inside loop only. And then just continuing around. So you're doing 16 single crochets. You're going to do this until you get to your stitch marker. Grabbing the inside loop helps to make that curl to the front. So that's why we're doing this. And don't forget, after round five, the last round, you want to turn the goggle inside out. And then our last stitch, our last inside loop, you should have 16 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round five, our last round, continuing with the gray, we're just doing 16 single crochets, adding one band, one, 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 all the way around. Where you start, be careful you don't go in your slip knot, go in your chain and bring your band through. Your last band you're doing a slip knot to tie it closed and then we're turning the goggle inside out.
last band, slip knot through all of the loops, grab the end and tie it off. Now you can remove the stitch marker, you don't need it anymore on the goggle, and you want to turn it inside out. Now I'm going to hide this slip knot and I'm just going to go through the stitches. I'm going to bring it through, just bring it through the stitches. Now we're going to do the back strap um, in a black color and this is what it's going to look like. So there's three rounds to this and first we're going to start off with doing a chain of 29. So I have 30 bands here. Our first band is going to be our cap band that I'm going to wrap. So you can see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're going to need 30 bands. Your first band is going to be a cap band that you're going to wrap around your hook three times. One, two, and three. And now you're going to do a simple chain. So your first band you're going to attach to your hook inside this band, your cap band over, and you're just making a simple chain. We need a chain of 29. So you can just continue doing the same thing, sliding the bands on, and you've got your simple chain. Take your time, you don't want the bands twisted, so just take your time doing this. So now I have a chain of 29. For round two, what we're going to do is attach our um, little chain here. We're going to attach this end with our cap band right at the end. I'm going to use 30 bands to do this round. When you're attaching this end to this end, the cap band, make sure that it's not twisted. Like you don't want to have it all twisted. You want to make sure that it's completely flat. So it's easy if you put it flat on your workspace and you want to put your hook through the cap band. So those three little loops right at the end. And make sure that it's flat and not twisted. Now I'm going to bring my first band through all of these loops and do a slip knot. So bring all my loops through and grab the other end and slide. You don't need to pull too hard. Now I'm going to do a reverse stitch. So I'm going to be working backwards. So I'm going to just turn it around. Normally we would just go in here, but I'm just going to turn it around so I'm working the other way. And my hook is going to go in each chain around. So I'm going to do a single stitch on each chain until I get back to the end. So just to show you again, normally you would go this way. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to bring my first band through my chain on my hook and slide. And I'm just going to go all the way around. If you don't turn, the worst that's going to happen 
is it's just not going to meet at the end. So this was me trying. And I forgot to turn. So I'm going to go in the next stitch and just doing your single crochet, adding one band. The next. So you can see how I'm working. I'm working the opposite direction. And I'm going to go all the way around. And you're going to see where you're, you need to stop if you didn't count 30 bands. You're going to find your slip, uh, your cap band, and you're going to know automatically where to stop. So just continue all the way around. Just going in the chains. Making sure that you're not twisting it and you're going like you're turning it or, or something. Try to keep it as flat as you can and try not to rush. If I am going too fast for you, just please pause the video. Oops, I didn't grab the chain. And I'm back where I started. At the cap band and this is where you should have what you should have so I'm gonna start you off you're gonna go in your chain I'm just gonna start you off so we don't let go um, you're gonna go in your first chain and just hold your hook there and keep it there until I set out the bands again and you're just gonna go around Again, the single crochet, one band in each chain. So for round three, again, 30 bands. Your last band, you're gonna do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm gonna grab my first band and bring it through that first chain that we had our hook set already. And continuing around, and we're still working in that reverse stitch. So you're just going through the chain if you can't see. And your last band, if I didn't say already, sorry, um, you're gonna do a slip stitch with your last band to tie it closed and then we're done with this strap. Again, if you're not counting, you're going to know where to stop. Um, you're going to see a difference. Um, they're going to not meet up. You're going to see where to meet up when you're done.
So I'm back at my slip knot here, you can see it. I'm gonna go one stitch over. I actually just need a 29 band, sorry. Um, I'm going to just stretch this out and you're gonna see the little cap band is right here. I'm just gonna go one stitch over and do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm gonna bring it through all of the loops and grab the end and tie it closed. And your little strap is done. It's not twisted, it's flat, it's straight, and we're just gonna hide the little slip knot. So you can just go in the same direction in the little stitches here and bring your little slip knot through. Keep going just to hide it. Round one of the body, we're going to do eight single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, okay, one, two, and three. Now you're going to pull eight bands through one at a time. So reach in, bring your first band through, put the other end on your hook, and bring your loop over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for your second band to bring through, put the other end on your hook. You have three loops, so bring these two over the one that was at the end. Bring it to the side. Go back in, do the same thing on your hook and two loops over. Bring it to the side. You wanna just continue bringing your band through on your hook and two loops over. Now attach your stitch marker to that band that's around your hook and you can remove it off the loom. You should have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is on your hook. For round two, we're going to add two bands to each chain. So you're just gonna increase on each chain around. Two, 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 all the way around. At the end of round two, you will have 16 stitches. So let's go on our first chain, and you're gonna add two bands, one at a time. Back in for your second band. Now moving on to your next chain with two bands, one at a time. Back in, that same chain to pull your second band through, and continue on to the next chain with two bands. You're just gonna repeat all the way until you get to the stitch marker. Back in. And the last chain where your stitch marker is, you're adding two bands. So now you should have 16 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're gonna increase this round. So the pattern is one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. At the end of round three, you will have 24 stitches. So you're just adding two bands in every second chain. So in my first stitch, not where it's getting pulled, you're adding one band. 
chain two, the next chain with two bands, one at a time. Back in. So I'm just doing an increase. So that's giving us an extra stitch. Now you're going to repeat one, two. One single crochet, two single crochets in the next. And just repeat. One, two. One single crochet, two single crochets in the next. Back in. Now you just want to continue until you get to the stitch marker. So just follow the pattern. And the last stitch where the stitch marker is, you're adding two bands. So again, you should have 24 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're gonna increase on every third stitch. So that means one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. You're gonna repeat this all the way until you get to the stitch marker. At the end of round four, you're gonna have 32 stitches. So let's go in our first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and we're gonna do a single crochet, so adding one band. The next chain, chain two with one band. And chain three, you're adding two bands, one at a time. Back in that same chain for your second band. And you're just gonna repeat one, one, two. Back in. And repeat, one, one, two. And again, so you're just gonna repeat all the way until you get to the stitch marker. So I'm almost done, I have one more section. And I can see that was a jelly band. <laughs> That's okay. Then, one, one, <laughs> two. I really didn't, I couldn't tell I used a jelly band. 
So now you should have 32 stitches, remove that stitch marker, and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now from rounds 5 all the way to round 16, you're going to do 32 single crochets, adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile I have 32, 32 bands, so at the end of each round you should have 32 stitches. Now I have my C-clips here, and this is where I recommend that you leave the C-clips on for each round that we're going to do from here on. So if you have your C-clips or extra stitch markers, you probably have more C-clips than you do the stitch markers, I need you to leave those on so we can find the placement, um, uh, we need to find the placements when we're done. So this is what it should look like after you've completed all of these rounds. I'm going to do round five with you and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you've completed the rest of the rounds. Now start in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled and you want to bring your first band through and you're just doing a single crochet to each chain. Next one. Next. All the way, <laughs> all the way until you get to the stitch marker. And when you get to your next stitch marker, just add another one. Don't remove it. Just so you know, we're only going to leave our stitch markers on until round 23. And then after that, we will be removing our stitch markers and adding it to our extra round, our next rounds. So from 5 to rounds 23, leave your stitch markers on. Okay, so you should have 23 stitches. Add a new stitch marker to the band that's around your hook, and you want to pause the video, continue the rounds, and come back to me when you're done. So I'm going to start round 17 now, and I'm changing to the green color. I'm going to do 32 single crochets and just grabbing the inside loops only. So the one little loop per chain the first one, <laughs> the first one, to each chain around. So I have 32 bands here. I have 10, 20, 30, and two. Here's my new stitch marker that I'll be adding when I'm done. So I'm just gonna go in the first one, grabbing the inside loop only. Gonna start off with a slip stitch because I'm changing color, so going through all the loops that are on my hook and do uh, my hands are cold and bringing it through all the loops on your hook inside and then just going to the next inside loop and do a single crochet all the way until you get to the stitch marker.
I think I'm going to turn up the heat. I'm like frozen. My hands are not grabbing the bands properly. So I want to add another stitch marker. You should have 32 stitches. Add a new stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. For rounds 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23, you're going to do 32 single crochets with the green color. In each pile I have 32 bands, so at the end of each round you should have 32 stitches. I'm going to do part of round 18 with you. These rounds, you're going to, again, you're going to leave your stitch markers on and this will be the last round where you leave your stitch marker on. So all you're going to do is just add one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. So you're going to go on your first stitch, not your slip knot because that's where you change the color, and bring your first band through. The next chain with one. and the next all the way until you get to the stitch marker and then just add another stitch marker onto the band that's on your hook So I think you can pause the video, continue the rounds, and come back to me when you're done. Now before we start round 24, I just want to point out the C-clips. You should have 20 C-clips left on the body, just like this. Now to start round 24, you should have a C-clip right on your hook, and this is what you should have so far. We're going to do two single crochets, so two bands in the first two chains, or sorry, one band in the first two chains, followed by an invisible decrease. So one, one, invisible decrease, where I'm adding an extra band. You're going to repeat these steps eight times until you get to the stitch marker. At the end of round 24, you should have 24 stitches. So this is the layout. So I'm going to go in my first chain, not where the C-clip is, and I'm going to do a single crochet, one band. The next chain with one. Now the invisible decrease, if you're not familiar, we're going to do a slip stitch with one band in the first two chains and leave it on our hook. So do a slip stitch leave it on your hook, go to the next stitch, do a slip stitch, you should have three loops and you're going to slide. There's your decrease. Let's repeat one, one, and a decrease. So one band, 
one in the next. And a slip stitch in the next two chains. Three loops and slide. And then just repeat. One, two, one invisible decrease. You want to continue this pattern until you get to the stitch marker. three loops and slide. This is where you want to remove the stitch marker, this last one, and add it to the band that's around your hook. So now I'm not going to be leaving the stitch markers. For round 25, we're going to decrease again. Now the pattern's going to be one single crochet and two and three stitched together. So it's one single crochet chains two and three stitched together. You're going to repeat this pattern eight times. At the end of round 25, you're going to have 16 stitches. Now, after when we're done, we're going to fill the body with some stuffing. So I'm going to go on the first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and just do a single crochet. Now you're going to take chains two, so go through the center, out, come back towards the center, and grab that chain three. You're going to bring your band through both of those chains. You're going to try very hard not to pull this band, but you want to bring the body to the center of that band. So one end is on my hook and one end is on my finger. Grab the end and slide. Let's repeat one single crochet, now chains two and three stitch together. Bring it through those chains on your hook and slide. And you're just repeating until you get to the stitch marker. One single crochet, two and three together.
So you should have 16 stitches. Remove that stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and I'm just going to release my hook from here and I'm going to attach my stitch marker to one of the chains here uh, and then I'm going to stuff it. I usually leave it on my hook um, but I, I always I do like to um, attach the stitch marker to secure it. Now you want to add the stuffing. You want to get the form of the body. I do love to overstuff the minions so please determine um, you know how much it is that you need. I'm moving the stuffing around to either side and pushing it in the center as well. Watching that I don't see the stuffing coming out um, through the bands. I'm pretty sure you all know how to do that. You could always remove stuffing later with your hook. Push the access, uh, excess, access, excess um, stuffing back in with a pencil. So right here is where it's starting to go flat. So you just don't want your stuffing up here because then that's too much stuffing. So you can remove the stitch marker off that chain and put your loop back on if you took it off. Now for rounds 26, we're going to stitch one and two together and repeat one and two together. You're going to repeat this eight times. <laughs> eight times. So you can push your stuffing down, kind of squeeze this together so it's less tension. Don't go where it's getting pulled. Go through your first chain and now grab chain two and you're going to stitch together. At the end of this round, you're going to have 16 stitches, eight stitches, sorry, eight stitches. Now repeat one and two together. and repeat one and two together. Do this all the way to the stitch marker. So you should have eight stitches, remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook. For round 27, we're going to decrease four times. You're going to take one and two and stitch together. One and two, and then repeat one and two and stitch together. You're going to do this four times and then we're going to close it off. So our last band, we're going to do a slip knot and then you can remove the stitch marker. So not where it's getting pulled, you want to take stitch one and stitch two and stitch together. You're going to repeat And 
element one more time. I'm just going to remove that stitch marker now. And this band, you want to do a slip knot, so bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook. And tie it off. Now move your stuffing around. And we can tighten up, um, loosen up some of the tension here by grabbing your little knots at the end of your bands and just loosen it up. Don't worry too much. When you sew on the legs, it will hide all this. So I'm not too concerned. I just don't want to freak you out. In all of the other minions, I show you how to attach the googly eyes or um, a magic ring or a pony bead. This time, if you, I'm going to use a safety eye. I'm using a 12 millimeter. If you don't know how to add on the eyes, you can watch the other minions how I do it. If you can't find it, please comment down below and I will help you. So all I'm going to do is attach the safety eye this time and I'm going through the center of the strap. I'm using a 12 millimeter and I'm just going to attach the back. And bringing the magic ring, I'm going to bring it over so you can use a bigger one, 15 millimeter. And this is what you should have so far.